In our Sunrise Smart Start, some breaking news overnight. Two people were taken into custody after police say they stole a car and crashed it in Rochester. RPD says the driver of the stolen car crashed while turning onto Byron Street from Mount Hope Avenue. They add the car was reported stolen earlier in the night. A 17-year-old girl was taken into custody before being turned over to her guardian. With her, a 20-year-old man who was taken to Strong Hospital in relation to a previous injury. Charges are pending. Well, happening today, students at Roth Junior High School in Rush Henrietta will notice an increased police presence today. This after police say a student was found with a BB gun on campus. Deputies will be stationed on campus during arrival and dismissal times until further notice. New information about the Rochester man accused of making terroristic threats against Monroe County officials has been released. State troopers say Raymond Gerard is also the suspect of multiple vehicle break-ins throughout Monroe County and the surrounding area. Investigators add he may have also stolen a credit card in Wayne County and he was wanted on an ag aggravated harassment warrant out of Batavia. Police allegedly found two guns, a dagger, two stolen computers and multiple stolen credit cards in his home. I can't speak in detail to their charges. But uh, th look, this is certainly a person that, uh, that had a violent intent, has a violent history, and clearly posed a danger to the public. Gerard was originally accused of making up to 70 aggressive phone calls a day to the county office building. He is scheduled to return to court in February. In other news this morning, Reverend Matthew Clark, Bishop Emeritus of the Diocese of Rochester, is in declining health. In a statement released, Bishop Salvatore Matano says after visiting Clark recently, his current health condition is now, quote, quite serious. Adding, quote, I ask the priests, deacons, religious, and lay faithful to the Diocese of Rochester to unite in prayer for Bishop Clark, end quote. Rochester's Police Accountability Board is looking for volunteers to fill two more vacancies. Reverend Matthew Nikoloff and Daniel Tucker Roll both stepped down during last night's board meeting. Nikoloff was a founding member of the board. Tucker Roll was appointed after serving on the PAB Alliance. There are now three vacancies on the nine-member volunteer board. A new study shows the city of Rochester outpaced the region the entire Northeast region in rising rents for single family homes in 2022. A report by Rental Meter shows the monthly rent for single family units in Rochester jumped 25% in the last quarter of 2022 compared to 2021. The average now more than $1,600 a month. Rental Meter says the city was not prepared for new demand and construction isn't keeping up. All these people who, who should have bought homes five to ten years ago are now in the market to buy a home plus the the normal demographic trend of people who should should be buying a home and the supply's not there it's really not what the people who have lived here for years can really afford so we need something that's going to stabilize that and keep it affordable and within the price range of where the community is Experts say they expect apartment rental prices to increase again in 2023, but not as fast as single-family homes. The housing market is not expected to slow down until after the summer. Relief is in sight for many of the home and business owners hit by soaring utility bills in recent months. $672 million in funding will go toward helping rg &E and NYSEG customers pay their overdue bills. To be clear, this is for folks who were behind through May of 2022. The goal is to prevent widespread service terminations for residential customers and small business owners. Impacted rg &E customers will automatically receive a one-time credit of up to $1,500. NYSEG customers will receive up to $1,000 in credits for residents and up to $1,250 for small businesses. The Regal Cinema in Greece is closing its doors alongside nearly 40 other Regal theaters across the country. This after Regal's parent company, Cineworld, filed for bankruptcy in September. The company says it plans to reject the lease of the Greece location effective, effective February 15th. 
Coming back home now, even though this winter hasn't really amounted to much when it comes to the snow, the seasonal fun isn't stopping. The annual Arondequay Winterfest is preparing to take off tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Town Hall. Here to tell us more is Jatira Marsh, who joins us live for, from where all the festivities will be taking place tomorrow. Jatira, good morning. What do you have for us? Amel, good morning. Can't you see how excited I am to talk to you about Winterfest? I'm here in Arondequoit with Special Events Coordinator Jerry Doverstein. How are you? Good, Tyra. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing all right. So could you tell me about the snowballs that are happening? So we have some snowball games. Um, we may have a nonprofit organization come that can uh, sort of uh, promote their snowball fight coming up. But um, uh, you know, it will be one of the games on the front of town hall. Um, you know, we're, we're standing here in front of our town hall, and, and for Winterfest, the entire grounds are going to be filled with activity. So we hope everyone will come out. So how is your arm? Like, can you throw a good snowball? Can I join your team if we're in a fight? Yeah, I want you on my team. <laughs> awesome. So uh, tell me about the other games. I know we were in the uh, gazebo earlier, but there's going to be stuff all around the area. Yeah, so we have a bunch of inflatables coming. Um, one of them is going to be a curling rink, which will be new this year, so it'll be fun to see how that works out. Uh, we have an inflatable football dartboard. Bring your bills, jerseys. Um, we also have an axe throwing uh, game and we have a shoot for basketball. So, it, you know, there'll be something for everybody here. All right, and we're just going to check this out right here to show this off. But that's all we have for you guys right now. Reporting live in Aranda, Koya Jatira Marsh, News 8. Back to you, Amel. <laughs> all right, Jatira, as we can see, she's always having fun in those live shots, James. Yeah, that looks like a blast. Uh, I think it's going to be a great event, even though there might not necessarily be a lot of snow out there. Uh, it's a great spot there up in Aranda, Koya. If we're uh, making a walk maybe uh, around town, numbers are generally in the middle 30s. Light rain showers transition over to snow showers later today. But as of right now, we're above freezing, so we're in pretty good shape. Uh, expect to see a little bit of uh, some minor accumulations tonight. We'll take a look at the weekend forecast at the end of the show. Amel, how is uh, traffic looking this morning? James, traffic is still looking pretty good out there. I'm not seeing any major accidents or anything that is causing any disruptions to the main roadways, the main arteries, which are 390, 490, and 590. We do just uh, look like we have one accident south of Rochester, this on Jefferson Road at Brighton Henry at a town line road. So if you're heading out the door this morning, I don't think you're going to run into any issues, just some good things to keep in mind. Uh, bus stop forecast. We've got a a little bit of uh, some rain out there right now. Temperatures are in the 30s and a couple of flakes as we get into the afternoon. We'll stay in the 30s. We're going to come down just a bit. I would not be surprised if some grassy surfaces had a quarter of an inch, tenth of an inch of snow early tomorrow morning. Uh, then as we get into Sunday, better chance for snow showers there. Maybe a couple inches on the ground through Monday morning. Then we'll keep an eye on next week, Wednesday, Thursday. It could be our next storm system. All right, James. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 30 minutes. CBS Mornings is next. Have a great day, everyone, and a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.